I see what hell chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say today we are going to be telling you how to say Super Mario character names in Japanese, because you'll see their names oh. are different in Japan. All right, so we know how to say them normally. Yes. But now we're going to show you how to say them in Japanese, or not really show you. But uh, tell you, You know, if you will. tell you. That's right. How would you show someone? Uh, well, I don't really know, but anyway, uh. you, you just watch the gameplay and listen to what we're saying, okay? okay? Now, of course, Japanese is a rather different language from English, and as such, the way the names are actually spelt in Japanese is using katakana, you'll see. It's quite different from English, and as you can see on the screen, we have the first name here. Now, what on earth is that, old chap? Um, well, it, that is... well, it says Mario. How do you know that? Because uh, because it says Mario next to it, you see. Uh, Otherwise, oh. I wouldn't know that. Cat <laughs> well, Carna, by the way. A... That sounds like one of those dead or alive girls. You know, oh, names. Yes. Not that like I play the game or anything. Just no, saying. of course you don't. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. th that name, Fadios, is of course Mario. Now, Mario's name in Japanese, rather conveniently, is actually Mario. Just like that. Mario. Mario. Oh, okay, I, I can't, of Mario. course, I, I'm saying it in like Mario's voice. Mario. Mario. Ma Mario. Now, that is just hey. the way he Mario. said it. The first symbol, of course, means ma. The second one is ri. And the third one is o. Hence, Mario or Mario in English. But, but we can actually see the, the Japanese bit here, the sort of thing that where they go, ah, you know, whatever it means. Yes, but, katakana, that's so right. So what's that sound like, though? Because we said we tell them how, how it sounds. That's it. it. It's, it's Mario. Oh, so they, 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 so they say Mario. So we say Mario, yes. but in Japanese they say Mario. 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 Precisely. Now, of course, so it would sound like that then, Mario. Yes. They don't it wouldn't sort of be Hokodega. No, no, no. No, it's actually Mario. Now, they ah. don't say, notice, they don't say Mario. They actually say Mario. So there you go. Now, of so course, I, so I'm going to play Mario. Uh, perhaps. Uh, now, if Mario. you want to say Super Mario, you can say Super Mario. Super Mario. Yes, and I'm not going to show that on the screen, but uh, you get the idea. Now we're going to move on to the next one here. What on earth is this? This is, of course, Mario's brother, that chap who wears the green hat, you know. Yes, um, uh, Luigi. Luigi, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Now you'll say his name yes. in Japanese a little differently because uh, he has one of those extended pronunciation marks in the uh, in the katakana. That's oh. the dash you can see oh, there right. uh, between the uh, second and fourth symbols. His yes. name is Luigi, like that. Oh. Luigi. So what we do here, we get rid of the L, just kick that straight out. No L's, it's Luigi. Luigi, exactly. With a little R, with a little, little roll of the tongue. Luigi. Maybe, maybe. Now, we're not going to say Luigi, because, of course, in Japanese, there isn't actually an L sound. You have to say Luigi. Now, this is actually, I, I haven't named these in the list here, but I'm going to oh. throw this in as a little extra here. Oh. Uh, the name of Waluigi in Japan is, of course, not Waluigi, but Waruigi. Well, yes. oh, bit of bit of information there. Nothing to do with, with really with what we're talking about. The name makes a lot more sense in Japanese because okay. of the the warui bit. Actually, it yeah. makes a lot more sense for Japanese uh, speakers. But in our case, we get Waluigi. But uh, there we are. We're going to move on to the next one, fellow. Luigi. Because, uh, we've got the second fiddle brother out of the way, and here comes Ooh. Princess Peach. Ah. Uh. Now but you don't say Princess Peach in Japanese. No, I was just going to say that to you. So you don't say Princess... So we've got Luigi, but Princess Peach is not sort of just Princess Peach or something like no, that. No, no. You, you can say Princess Peach, but you, uh, Peachy, I mean. But you're I not, like that. You're not going Princess to say that. Peach. No, 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 no. It's not Princess like that. What you're actually no. going to say here is a combination of katakana and kanji. Now, the first two, uh, first three symbols there uh. are katakana, and the last symbol is kanji, okay? Right. We've got Peachihime. Ah, Pichi Hime. Pichi Hime. Pichi Hime. Now, the Hime bit Pichi. actually means princess, I believe, or something along those lines in Japanese. Hence, you've got Princess Pichi, or okay. Peach. So we've got Mario. Mario. Luigi. Luigi. Oh, Ru no, the Lu no, 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 no. Not the L. You've got to. You, when when L, you say it rose up there, Rui, Rui. it's Rui. called Luigi. Luigi. See the I being pronounced in your mind. Luigi. I've got it. R Ruigi. Yes, you've got to drag the eye out. Ruigi. And, and Pichi Hime. Pichi Hime. Pichi right. Hime. So you can say, I'm playing, uh, you know, uh, I'm rescuing Pichi Hime today. Yes, of course I am. So th well, this is great. We're learning Japanese. Now, Princess Peach has a friend known as Princess Daisy, of Daisy. course. Now, once again, we've got a small problem here because you don't say uh, Daisy Hime don't in you? Japanese. It's not uh, right, okay? okay? What you're going to do is say what you see on the screen there, which is right. Deji Hime. Ah, Princess Daisy, no, not Daisy, Princess Daisy is yes. Deji Hime. Deji Hime. Deji Hime. 
Deji. You see, you're not saying Daisy, you're saying Deji Hime. So the name is quite similar for Princess Daisy. Hey, wait a minute. So Peach and Daisy, Hime, both are, are you know, that's the end? That's Hime. The name, is Hime, that's right. Hime, that's of course, name. meaning the princess part, you'll say. Oh, I see. It's got it backwards. That's right. So you it's have backwards. Peach Princess, as it were. Oh. Now, please note also, the oh. name Toadstool actually does not apply to Princess Peach in Japan. That name was created by the uh, Nintendo of America, I think. Oh, right. And her name in Japan is actually just Peach, or Peach. Peachy Hime, ah, yes. Princess Peach. Then, of mm. course, we move on to a character whose name actually did originate with the Japanese word. It's everyone's favourite green dinosaur. Ah, oh, it... Yoshi. 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 Now, please understand, with Yoshi, you have to pronounce the E bit on the end with a little bit more, you know, gusto. You have to drag the E out. Why? Because ah. we have the extended pronunciation mark there, pronunciation mark once again. So instead of being Yoshi, we've yeah. got Yoshi. Okay. Yoshi. Yes. Along Yoshi. those lines. You, no, 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 not too you, far. You smile when you say it. It helps. Yoshi. It's not Yoshi. Oh, it's no. more like Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay. But Yoshi. please understand, once again, we're not, not Yoshi. We're not saying Yoshi. And I was about to say that. Uh, uh, many on. people do say Yoshi. But actually, if you're going to say it right according to the Japanese pronunciation, you'd be saying Yoshi. Yes, I've like heard that. some people say Yoshi. It's, uh, Yoshi? What's that? It's not Yoshi. It's Yoshi. Look, if we hear you say Yoshi, we'll come round your house and pour boiling semolina to the letterbox after the postman's bin. <laughs> Ah, yes. No, no, let's not uh, do that, please. No. no anyway, uh, so moving on to the... Uh, speaking of evil... Can you imagine picking that all up with all letters with the goo? It would be know? horrible. Whoa. Speaking of evil things, the next one is, of course, King Balsa, the oh, enemy yeah. of the Mario series. Balsa. But uh, you may already know he's not actually called Balsa per se in Japan. Mm. His name in Japanese mm. is Koopa. Koopa. Ah, Koopa. Koopa Troopa. Uh, well, you'll say Koopa he, Troopa. he has been known over here been as... Been demoted. No, no, no. He has been known over here, such as in the cartoon show, etc., as King Cooper. But oh. his name over there is actually Koopa. OK, so Balsa it's not Balsa at all in Japanese. He's actually no. Koopa. Koopa. Now, he was originally known as some kind of great demon king Balsa or something along those lines. But these oh. days, he's called Koopa. Ah. Just like that. Yeah, so yeah. there you are. That's the evil villain of the series. And uh, we're going to move on next to the yeah. loyal mushroom retainer of Princess Peach. Now, his name over here is, of course, Toad. And you'd think they'd just call him Toad in Japan, but they don't. His name is totally different. Different. Really? Why is that, I say? Totally different. Totally different. Yes. Oh, yes, it's very good. Uh, so his name in Japan is actually Kinopio. Kinopio? Kinopio. It sounds like Pinocchio. It does sound like Pinocchio, Kino doesn't Kino it? Kinopico. No, it's, it's got a co, isn't it? No, it's no, no. K. That's Toadette. We, shh, you're not supposed to see that yet, Toadette. Oh, I've got the wrong one. So, no, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry, yes, see, yes. I can see it, but you can't. But you can't yet. Yeah. Never mind. Kinopio. Kinopio. Now, of course, if I was going to say that in English, I might say Kinopio, which sounds very similar to Pinocchio. So perhaps they got the inspiration from that. I don't know. But in any case, his name over there is Kinopio. Oh, so, so you could say, so you should say, uh, in my game, uh, uh, Coop has... Cooper has captured all the Canopios. Uh, well, yes, along those lines. The they, Cooper's captured they, the Canopios in my game. They don't have plurals in Japanese, but yes, Deji I suppose uh, Cooper has captured yeah. the Canopio, yes. Okay. Um, Toadette, of course, the pink toad, or Toad's girlfriend, is called right. Kinopiko. Ah, yes, yes, Kinopiko. So, that, so a little change there from Pio to Pico. Pico. Uh, uh, perhaps because, you know, the uh, the ko extension is associated with female names great. in Japan, perhaps. Where you get this on the whole of YouTube, actually explaining how to say the names of these characters in Japanese. Now, everyone needs to know that, don't they? Yes, of they course. Do, they do, because they can be smart with their friends. Eh? Uh, we didn't say hello in Japanese. Minasan, konbaha, konnichiha, ohayou gozaimasu. I, I think I probably said that all wrong, but there we are. You get the Soka. idea. Soka. Now, uh, the that next means something like I see, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, actually. Yes, uh, Naruhodo, along those lines. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to move on to the the, uh, the villain of the first Mario game, if you will, being, of course, a certain ape. A uh, monkey. A monkey, okay. A gorilla. His name over here is Donkey Kong, but in Japan, as you can see there, we have a katakana once again and an extended pronunciation mark after the key part, uh. meaning we're going to say Donkey Kongu. Ah, Donkey Kongu. This Donkey is better than Kongu. our way of saying it. You know, we just say, who's that? Donkey Kong. So, you know, it's DK. Donkey. But they Donkey say, Kong. Oh, no, it's not Donkey Kong. It's Donkey Kongu. So if we're going to say it's he's more... the leader of the bunch, you know him well, DK Donkey Kongu. Yes. Donkey Kongu is here. It is. That's the best way of saying it. It's got more passion to it. Donkey Kongu. Donkey, Donkey Kongu. Donkey Kongu. 
Yes, yeah? well... Instead of just saying Donkey Kong, boring. boring. Donkey Kong sounds far more passionate, doesn't it? Yes, it, it, it suits him, I think. It does. It really does. Now, we're going to move on to uh, the, the new princess of the series, right. the tall lady in blue. You right. know the one. Right. Her name over here is Rosalina, but actually, once again, it's different in Japan. She's not called Rosarina, for example, over there. Over there, she's called Rosetta. Ah, oh, Rosetta. Rosarina? It really doesn't work, does it, Rosarina? No. That's probably why they thought, no, scrap that. We normally say, they, pro they probably said, look, we'll, because we don't see the L's, they, we normally say Rosarina, but that sounds a bit daft. Let's just call her Rosetta. Her name in Japan is, of course, Rosetta. That's right. Rosetta. Uh, you'd think, you know, they might have called Rosetta. her, for example, Rosalyn over here, but uh, actually they said, no, 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 we're going to call her Rosalina. Because or Rose. Perhaps it sounds more mysterious, Rosalina. Or know. Rosie. Yes, Rosie. But, so they say Rosetta. 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 And I, I, think, Kongo, it's my favorite, I believe the, the Japanese announcer in Super Smash Bros. also says Rosetta and Chico for the uh, ah, Rosalina, yeah. Rosalina and Luma character in that game. And right. uh, moving on to a more um, uh, obscure girl, the, uh, the, the damsel in distress captured by Donkey Kong, Pauline. we have Pauline. Pauline. Now, again, we don't have the uh, L sound in Japanese, so in Japanese we're going to say Porine. Porine? Porine. So it's, it's, ah, yes, I can hear it. Purin. Now, please don't confuse ah, yeah. that with Purin or Purin. Purin is Jigglypuff in Super Smash Bros., as you may know, or po the Pokemon series. But this uh, girl is called Purin. In other words, if you drop the L again, Purin. Yes. But re remember, though, in order to say Pauline properly, you have to drag out the I sound. So once again, you've got Purin instead of Purin. Purin. Yes, ah, yes, exactly. It sounds more like it, doesn't it? It does. So, moving on to another character. Uh, this is a most strange and uh, contentious character because Birdo over here is considered to be um, male or, or female or something. I'm not entirely sure. But over there, Birdo's name is actually a female name. Really? It's, uh, believe it or not, Kiasarin. Kias not Catherine, then. Catherine, that's right. Oh, but Catherine. but oh, they're oh. going to say it, Kiasarin. 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 Exactly. Now, that name is, of course, one example of a name that's very different from the English name. She wasn't called Catherine over here. They decided to look at her and say, well, you know, it doesn't look anything like a bird. It's more like a dinosaur. It's got a great big hole for a mouth. Oh, let's call her Birdo. Sounds like something uh, you put in your, in your sort of greenhouse sort of heater, doesn't it? Kerosene. No, no, no. Kerosene. Chassarin. That is Birdo. Uh, uh, meanwhile, the, the spooky chaps in white who try to chase Mario around at night, that's a little rhyme for you, there is Boos over here. They're not called anything like that in Japan. I was really surprised to hear the name over there. It is, in fact, Teresa. T Teresa? Teresa. For Boo, Teresa. Boo is actually sense, Teresa. Uh, Teresa. Uh, I don't know why that is. It's, a, it's such a strange name. But uh, uh, perhaps the chaps over here said, well, Teresa doesn't really fit, or Teresa doesn't really fit. Let's call it Boo, because it may all jump and go Boo, like that. True. Okay. Teresa. 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 Um, uh, yeah. Another minor Mario enemy, the Chain yeah. Chomp. You'd think perhaps they'd call it Chain Chomp or something, but they didn't. No, no, no. Yeah. In, in Japan, the Chain Chomp is known as Wawa. 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 Now, wow. now, now, why do they call it Wow Wow? You may be asking Wow Wow, why, no. why Wow Wow? Wow no. Wow? Because in Japan, Wow Wow sounds like a dog barking. Now, think about that. Wow 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 Wow. Oh, I see, yes. Wow, so, wow. because chain wow. chomps bark, don't they? Woof, 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 woof. They do. They but do. But in Japan, they say Wow Wow, so they, they call this enemy the Wow Wow. These people say something, aren't they? They sort of thought, well, okay, chain chomp. Let's think of a name for that. Say, no, no, no. They tough? came up with the name first, I think. Yeah. They, they must have said, let's call this the Wow Wow. But if we call it oh. Wow Wow over here, it sounds rather unusual. So perhaps the, the North American or European localization team said, no, let's call it Chain Chomp. That sounds good. Chain Chomp. Uh, yes, I think ours is better, actually. It actually does sound good. Chain Chomp is better than one one. But nevertheless, that's what they say. One one. One one. Now, right. here's the strange one that catches everyone out. There's an enemy in the Super Mario series called the Killer. I, I'm not even joking. This is the Japanese really? name, of course. It's called Kira. 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 It sounds like a Michael Jackson song. Uh, the, 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 Kira, yeah. Kira. Now, the enemy uh, called the Killer is, in fact, quite appropriately the Bullet Bill, because it kills Mario, of course. Ah, uh, I suppose, yes, because you couldn't really say Bullet Bill, could you? Bullet Bill. Bullet Bill. You could, but I think but perhaps... actually, Killer. In their case, they've named this enemy the Killer, because, of course, Bullet Bills, if you think about it, are really quite tough enemies. I mean, they, they do sometimes surprise you, and, uh, of course, they do kill Mario, so it does make oh, sense, yeah. I suppose. Oh, yeah. So, K Kira. Kira. That's Kira. Right. So, there you have it, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Mario, Luigi, Peach Hime, Deji Hime, Yoshi, and many others. My word. Yoshi. I, you have to just... Don't uh, forget Simonina. 
Yeah, of course, that's fine. Not you have to take a moment here to appreciate really? the differences in the languages and how much work it must take the localization teams to convert all those Japanese names and uh, cultural differences over to the English versions. They have. So what you've got out today is not just watch some gameplay of whatever we've been doing, but also as so, so learn some Japanese. It's amazing, Reddy. Really. This is a wonderful said. channel. They should flock to it, shouldn't they, really? Well, I suppose Teaching so. Teaching Japanese and things like that. I've yes, too. yes. Thank you, Reddy. Really. But never mind. Thank Probably you very much. As soon as I walk away, but never mind. And Mina-san, Arik. Thank you very much Arigato. for watching. This has been Game Chat and Buddy, and we look forward to seeing you once more in the next exciting outing, I say. We do! Have to learn! Simonina.